Welcome to lesson number four. Today we are going to do fill in the blank questions. This is my favorite thing to do with sight words. At this point, you are an expert at animating things, so this should be a piece of cake. As always, I have everything prepped and ready. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Now, we're going to add a text box and just type out our question. But in the spot where you want to fill in the blank, you're going to hold the shift key. And if you look right next to the plus and equal sign on your keyboard, you'll see two dashes. You'll see a short dash and a long dash. If you hold the shift key and push this button, you're gonna get a nice pretty dash like that. And then we can fill out the rest of our sentence. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type out all of my questions using this method. And we're gonna do, there we go. Now, from here, there's a couple of different things that you can do. You can add a word bank if you want to, but you don't have to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now, the second step is to add your answers. You're going to want the font and the font size to be the same. So if you need to remind yourself, you can just click on the box and it'll show you the font, what size you put it in and all that fun stuff. Then you're going to insert another text box, change it to match your questions, and then you're going to type in your answer, change the color and make it bold. That way it stands out from the rest of the sentence. Then you can just drag it down where you need it to go. Now you can copy and paste it and then add your new answer. Obviously each answer should be different and you're going to do that for every single one. You can adjust the size of your blank as needed. Now, if you are happy with it the way it is, you can just go through and animate each answer the same way that we animated the multiple choice questions. But if you want to add a word bank, we're going to do that now. To do so, we're going to come up here, we're going to insert a text box, and we're going to insert one big long text box. Let's say that this is one of their sight words, okay? Then I'm going to count the number of spaces, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Type in another word. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Type in another word here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Type in another word. Now, I'm going to put this centered. Drag it down where I want it. And I'm going to make this really big and put it in bold. Now, you can change the color if you want to. You can leave it in black. And now we have our list of sight words. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. If you hold the shift key, you will make a straight line. And we're going to start it from the beginning of the word to about the end of the word. We'll make it red, I guess. And we'll make it nice and big. And I wanna move it down so it's in the center, just like that. Now, I'm going to copy this. Bring it over here. Make sure it's in line with the first. And do this all over. Shorten this one just a smidge. Now, we want to cross out each of the words as they correspond with the question. So for example, if the first answer here, we'll hit animate, fade in. Let's say that that was this word here. We're going to animate this line and we want it to come in with the previous answer. That way, when the answer appears, the sight word that matches will be crossed out. Now we'll do the second one. So you add animation and let's say that this one was maybe the first one here. Add animation with previous. This one has two in it. The first one is to go first. So maybe it was this one with previous. Second one is to come in. Maybe it was this one with previous. Last one here with previous. Now, 
Don't trust yourself. Always test it. Let's give it a shot. So when the answer appears, the word in the sight word box also disappears. When this one appears, another one is crossed off. This one gets crossed off. That one gets crossed off. And voila. I do this with my sight words more than I do with anything else, but you can use this with pretty much anything. You can also display your word bank however you want to. You don't have to put it at the top like I did. You can put it in its own little box and you can stylize it. You can even put the word word bank above it if you want to. However you want to do it, it's up to you. If you only have a handful of words in the word bank, this method is fine. If you have a whole bunch of words that you need to put in the word bank, you might want to put them in their own separate column and then maybe put the word bank to the left side or the right side of the screen instead of on the top. But it's up to you and it depends on your purpose for using fill in the blank. Voila, another lesson complete. And now you have a whole bunch of different question types that you can use in your classroom. We have one more set of basic questions to do, and that's going to be true or false questions, which we are going to tackle next time. See you then. Bye.